everyone and welcome back to our channel. We all have the situations while working with the software when you're thinking, I wish I knew this feature before. And today we'll talk about Zoha Analytics features that we wish we knew before. We already made a similar video about Zoha CRM and some of the useful features that you may not know. So make sure to check it out. The link is in the corner and down below in the description box, there's a link to this video. And let's begin. So the first useful feature that I want to talk about is data snapshot. So it allows you to capture and maintain historical data from a report. It periodically snapshots the data from a chosen report and stores them in a table for historical report creation and analysis. So let's say you have a report for leads by source and status. With data snapshot, you can track the change in lead status across the time span, like every month, week, day, or Data snapshots is the data source for the corresponding table, so it will be listed as one of the data sources in the workspace. You can manage all snapshots created in workspace from the data source page. Next useful feature is report as filter. So let's say your dashboard is comprised of marketing data from multiple countries, and you want the countries plotted in the reports to act as filters. Say when you click on a particular country name, you want only the values corresponding to this country to be displayed in your dashboard. This can be easily achieved in Zoho Analytics and you can set reports to act as filters in your dashboard. You can filter all dependent reports in the dashboard to a specific data point in the report that acts as filter. Not just that, you can also filter excluding a value. You also have options to restrict certain reports in the dashboards from acting as filters. Another great feature is customizing the fiscal calendar. So if your company's fiscal year starts in a month other than January, or you are having issues determining the outcome of the reports of your organization with a custom fiscal year, you don't have to worry because Doha Analytics provides options to customize the fiscal year to attune with your company's calendar. And not only year, the starting day of your week can be customized too. In Doha Analytics, you can also customize KPI widget with label parameter. A KPI widget is not just for calculating a single metric. You can add more details to a KPI widget like top salesperson, region with the lowest sales, percentage achieved against target, etc. using the label parameter. So when you type a dollar sign in the KPI value field in the settings tab, the supported label parameters will be listed there. For example, here you can see the widget calculating the total sales across salespersons. Also, sometimes you want your reports to remain unchanged regardless of the filter supplied in your dashboard. For example, if you have a report comparing current and previous year performance, filtering it by a year make it lose its purpose. In Zoha reports, you can easily choose to exclude a particular report in dashboard from getting filtered using the exclude dashboard filter option. By the way, if you want to learn more about Zoho Analytics and how to use it, we made tutorials both for experts and for beginners. You can check out the playlist with tutorials here in the corner and also the links will be down below in the description box. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any useful information that we share here, any tutorials or software comparisons or Zoho latest news. Another amazing feature is extracting data from GSON columns. Let's say you're importing CSV or Excel file in Zoho Analytics. And what if the file contains a few columns in GSON format? This is where Zoho Data Prep, which is an advanced data preparation software amped right within Zoho Analytics that can be used to prepare, cleanse, transform and enrich data for analysis comes in handy. Another great feature of Zoho Analytics is the ability to split columns in Zoho Analytics table. For example, if there is a first and last name in one column, you can easily split them in two. For example, if you're doing the email campaign or want to use the data for something else. 
Another feature that I want to mention are dynamic URLs for business applications. So click through URLs for business applications is a hyperlink that invokes a web page and displays the unique records associated to your business application data. It helps add supplemental information about the data to the reports and dashboards that are created and help the other organization member who access the reports to view the records related to that. You can use them in marketing while analyzing marketing campaigns and blog post performance in IT and help desk, while analyzing ticket trends and support team performance, you can view the entire ticket thread using dynamic URLs. In e-commerce, to view the purchase history of each customer and abandoned checkouts, in sales to view the leads and deal status and to view the salesperson performance. And in project management, while analyzing milestone, tasks, and bugs data, you can view the related information using dynamic URLs. And if you want to do some tasks automatically, Zoho Analytics offers auto analysis that uses MI and AL techniques to automatically generate a variety of the most relevant reports and dashboards on a given data set. It helps in reducing the time taken to create the reports and dashboards manually and will be of aid when you have a new data set and are not quite sure what reports to create. And the last feature that a lot of people forget about is Zia, a smart AI assistant in Zoho Analytic that provides critical business insights in second through natural language, processing capabilities via Ask Zia for conversation analytics, Zia Insight for automated insights, and much, much more. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to leave a comment down below telling about your favorite Zoho Analytics features that we could have missed in this video to help others in Zoho community to create much better analytic reports. By the way, if you want, we can create any type of analytic reports for you. We have business analytics in our CRMOS team. And also, if you want to implement, integrate, customize, or have technical support for any of the Zoho apps, make sure to click the link down below to contact us and book a free consultation to find the right solution for your business. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share on this channel.